Hello and welcome to our latest Swampcast. We're here at the final day of SEC Media Days. It's all over. Robbie, it seemed like it went pretty fast. Yeah, it did. It was crazy. You know, I've been doing these since 92. I've never been to one anything like this. Bizarre would be a good word for it, especially what happened with Steve Spurrier today. Uh, of course, uh, everybody was trying to find out who the Tim Tebow non-vote was. It turned out we figured it out. It was, and, and I said last night. I bet you throws Jamie Spronis under the bus. We, you, we called it, and we called it and talked about it last night, and uh, it happened. Well, it's the way it happened. And it's strange, and I felt bad for Steve. I mean, he, he looked really beat down by this. He did. And he called me later and told me, he said, this hasn't been a fun couple of days for him. No. Once he found out that. No, and he, de he definitely wasn't himself today, Pat. No, and there'll be, I mean, I'm sure some people are going to write that uh, he did it on purpose and that he, uh, you know, wanted to cause a stir or something. I don't buy it. I mean, he's. One thing he is, and is a liar. Yeah, and people ask me, do you think he had someone else fill out his ballot? I said, yes. I mean, he's done that going back to the coaches' does, poll yeah. and stuff. So that, you know, no question he had somebody fill out. Somebody named Jamie Sperona. <laughs> the It was the highlight of the day, I guess. It was a little bit of a low light because you felt bad. Yeah. But um, certainly the rest of the day, pretty uneventful. I mean, I feel bad for the Auburn Raiders. I was just thinking the same thing. He is He's not a dynamic personality at all. He's kind of... I don't know. I, no, I'm just not seeing any yeah. excitement around that hire. I'm sure he has it when he's with his players and when he's recruiting, but he, he doesn't have it with us, and it was boring. He never said anything. Gene Chiswick we're talking yeah. about, of course. Did, what position did he play for? He was a walk-on, so I don't think he ever played. He played walk-on. I, I didn't even get into that. but uh, I made a note of it. So. Blake Kiffin was, uh, I thought, pretty good. Yeah, he handled himself well. Yeah, he uh, he's a good storyteller and has some interesting things to say. Kind of was in, effusive in his praise of Florida. Uh, saying they're going to win an Atlanta National Championship and T-Bowl win another high. Yeah, and he put 11 Florida players on his preseason all yeah. SEC coaches team. So he likes Florida. Yeah. But he was very diplomatic. I thought he handled himself well. Like he got all the tough questions asked about everything that's going on. And he took his time, gave good answers. And I like what Eric Berry said. He said, yeah, he stepped on some toes, but he's behind us. And, we're, yeah. and, and it was interesting what he said. He said, we felt like we were in it all by ourselves last year. Yeah. And that says a lot about full It sure does. Well. There was a little bit of distance there. But you're right. The, Eric Berry, they, they love him up there. So that's good for them. The other coach was Les Miles, and that's all I have to say about that. I mean, he's, yeah. again, talking and saying things. I, I yeah. Just, he rambles on a little bit. I can get the feeling that he thinks this team's going to be really good. This well, I do, too. I picked him to win the West. And, of course, when the ballots came out, it was Florida, Alabama. Florida almost a unanimous choice to win the SEC. Boy, it, it just seems like it's just going too good for Florida this summer. They're having <laughs> Way a, great, too good. a great summer workouts. They've had a couple of issues. Dustin Doe, the latest. Yeah, if they can get him off the road, maybe yeah, it'll be okay. Don't get in the car, buddy. But um, it, 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 they've got all these motivational things. The Notre Dame thing. It was this, the uh, other issues of you know, Kiffin. It was now it's Spurrier. the Tebow snub. Yeah. And all, it, it's like almost like, let's see if we can get a more fire. Yeah, here's up. some ammunition. Here's I mean, some absolutely. motivation. Well, we're heading home. It's time to go home, and we're looking forward to seeing our loved ones and uh, get out of here. And it was good. You know, it was fun. It was about, about what we normally expect yeah. in terms of what we did, but we're looking forward to coming back home. Until next time, and our next Swampcast, which I guess will be somewhere around the beginning of practice, yeah, It's Robbie. here. Football's it's here. It's right around the corner. This is Pat Dooley, Robbie Andrews saying so long from Hoover, Alabama.